Hi, my name is Juliana. This is a video for my second project in my English class. I'm going to tell you about the life of an artist that we all know, but few of us know his history. Let's go. Van Gogh was born in 1853 and grew up in Holland. He was raised in a religious family with his father being a minister. When he finished his studies, Vincent followed the profession of his uncle and became an art dealer, learning the trade in Holland and then working in England and France. Vincent was successful and initially happy with his work. However, he soon grew tired of the art business, especially in Paris, and lost interest in commerce. After returning home, Vincent began studying theology. While very passionate and enthusiastic, he failed the exams to get into a couple of programs. Characteristic of his personality, he was intelligent, able to speak several languages, but he did not believe that. Latin was a language to preach to the poor. During his period, he worked as a missionary in a cool meaning community living with the poor working ordinary people. As his development as a preacher was stagnating, his interest in those around him increased. His life as an artist was beginning. In 1818, at the age of 27, Van Gogh entered the Academy Royal de Beaux Arts in Brussels. Vincent fell in love, his heart had broken and he began to paint. The next few years he would result in little success in both love and art. Van Gogh's Potato Eaters, his first great work, was painted in 1885. Van Gogh painted peasant and rural landscapes using dark hair tones. Around this same time, Impressionism, with its bright and vivid colors, was becoming popular. In Paris, he was discussing art with some of the most avant-garde and influential artists of his time. He was using more color, applying the paint with thick bold strokes and painting everything around him. One of Van Gogh's dreams as an artist was to start an artist colony in Arles, in the south of France. Once there, Van Gogh entered the most productive and creative period of his life to paint the famous Sun Flowers of Him. However, it was also a time of great upheaval for Vincent, beginning a period of hospital stay for mental illness and physical decline. Twenty years after his death, there were shows commemorating his works around the world, influencing generations of artists to come. Well, this is the end of the video. I hope you like it. Goodbye!